first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. After a fairly nice day across the heartland, it was a little bit warm, but we were at least dry for most of the day. Now we're starting to see a couple of those scattered showers take place across the heartland. Zooming in really parts of southern Illinois, McLeansboro getting a nice little heavy shower there. If we head out just a little bit more to the west, starting to see a few pop up showers just north of southeast Missouri really over parts of southern Illinois, just out of our viewing area, but we are going to expect those showers and thunderstorms to make their way into the heartland throughout our evening. Very scattered, isolated, mainly over parts of southern Illinois for the rest of our afternoon and into tonight. Overnight into tomorrow, definitely going to see the chance for some showers and thunderstorms again, primarily over southern Illinois. So if you're wondering, you know, should I plan for a little bit of rain? Do you have things outside that don't that you don't want to get wet? Maybe go ahead and bring them in for the night or cover them up. Besides that, we'll start to dry out for the morning and as we get into Friday afternoon, lots of sunshine for us. A couple of clouds will filter through, but still we'll see plenty of time for that sun. Friday evening, a little bit more clear skies across the heartland and then heading into Saturday morning, a brief spot, light showers still possible for Saturday morning, but that sunshine will come out in the afternoon. Tomorrow, another key factor that doesn't show up on future casts necessarily is the fog. So we are tracking a little bit of some patchy fog possible tomorrow morning and then again for tomorrow evening. So make sure to keep that in mind if you do plan to be out and about. As for our dew point trend, not looking like it's pulling in the data. Something up with this graphic just as of now should be more in that humid category. Unfortunately, it's not very dry out there. It's, it is definitely humid and hot and it's going to continue to track that way through our weekend. Looking at the next few days, if we continue to track the chance for a little bit of some slightly cooler temperatures in the morning. I mean, we'll see those lows tracking across the heartland, feeling a little bit better than where we are now. Looks like we're having a little bit of delay for our weather graphic. So we'll see if it can get going here just a little bit lower, and then we will have to give you a look at what to expect for your seven day forecast coming up once we get the newest model data in for the heartland. 